Let's go ahead and hit the home key on the keyboard so we can see what we have so far. I like to preview quite often. And I'm going to go ahead and drop this down to half so that it speeds up the playback a little bit. Okay, so far so good. Now as you can see, it's approaching the planet. And once it stops, we want to show the planet for a minute and then have the ship go by it. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the end of the saucer here and bring it to the current time indicator and move over to the next frame just to add the planet next. I'm also going to twirl all these guys close so far. We don't need to see all this. And we're going to grab the planet. And first of all, let's make sure the planet doesn't extend past this point either. So this is the planet on this layer. We're going to grab the tail and we're going to trim it. And as you can see, it's a really cool way to work. You can trim things just by simply doing some slip editing. We'll drag a new planet out and we'll keep this one pretty large, like so. And once again, I'm going to scrub just to make sure that I don't have things where they don't belong. So the planet shouldn't be here just yet. We'll go ahead and trim the head of the planet. And as you can see, we really have to just be careful when we're doing this to make sure elements only appear when they're supposed to. But it's very easy. So once again, I'm going to hit the space bar just to preview this. It's really the fastest way to work. You know, reduce the resolution and the size if you need to. And just watch what's happening and hear the playback in your head as the audio and think about what's happening in the scene. Okay, so I'm going to let it go a little bit like this. And then I'm going to have the ship come in from this side. So once again, we're going to drag out that saucer again. So the saucer is getting a lot of work. And I'm going to hit the S on my keyboard to reduce the size. But not so much this time. I want the ship to, you know, pass by like so over the planet like it does in the actual uh, show. So I'm going to grab the head of the planet and put it right about here. And I'm going to just see where I want him to show up. And I think actually I want him to show up right about here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the good old auto keyframe this time. And we will move the ship over like so. Let him cross by. And I'm going to go to the first frame of this. I think I'll move the ship over a little bit more like this so we can actually see him fly in. So I'm going to actually move him back where he was before, turn on his position property, and then where he is now is good. And I'm going to scrub, and then I'll move him over like so. There we go. Just trial and error, you know. Uh, don't forget I'm also talking while doing this when in reality I would probably be locked in my basement with a bag of potato chips and some coffee and doing this listening to some audiobooks. When you're talking things out it's a little difficult sometimes because when you're creating things you're typically working in the right side of the brain and artists typically work from that that region. Talking of course is going to interfere with that a little tiny bit which kind of throws me off. So let's go ahead and just watch this. Okay, it's coming at us a little bit. And then he's going to approach the planet. And he's going to see the planet and then pass over it like so. Very cool. Now at this point, what I want to add is a fade. I want to fade this scene out. And then I want to go to the logo. So I'm going to once again twirl open what I don't need to be bothered with. And I'm also going to grab the tail of these guys and the tail of all this stuff here, except for the audio. And I'll keep the star field actually where it is. We're going to add a solid, and the solid is going to be what we have as our fade out. So let's go ahead and save at this point. If you haven't saved it, please do me a favor. Just go to File, Save, and just call it whatever you like. I'm going to call this Star Crash V1 for version 1.